In this video series the questions given in chapter 17 from our handbook, Process Plant Design and Simulation Volume 1, will be answered. The handbook is a must-have for any process engineer with an interest in process simulation, providing you with the building blocks that would eventually have you simulating entire systems independently. Get yours today. The link is available in the description. What information does the equipment list contain? An equipment list is a database that has the following information for process and mechanical engineering teams. It contains the equipment tag number, equipment description or service, equipment specification, P and ID reference number, and design and operating pressure and temperature of the service. What does P and ID contain? A P and ID is a pictorial representation of the piping, equipment, instrumentation, control devices, and the interconnection of process equipment and instrumentation. Why is PSV used? A PSV, a pressure safety valve, is a safety device designed to protect a pressurized vessel or system during an overpressure event. An overpressure event refers to any condition that would cause pressure in a system to increase beyond the specified design pressure or maximum allowable working pressure, MAWP. How to control surge? Surge is caused by rapid velocity changes of the fluid, which could be due to rapid valve closure, pump trip, or pump start. To mitigate the effects of a surge, the following steps can be carried out. Rerouting piping, increasing the diameter of pipeline to reduce average velocity, increasing the inertia of pumps and motors. Stronger pipe work to withstand pressure surge, providing additional pipe supports, and incorporating valves such as flow control valve, air or vacuum release valves, intermediate check valves, non-slam check valves, and bypass valves, etc. Provide NPSHA formula. The formula to calculate NPSHA is NPSHA is equal to the absolute pressure at the pump suction nozzle minus the vapor pressure of the liquid at the pumping temperature minus the acceleration head. Which should be higher? NPSHA or NPSHR? NPSHA should always be higher than NPSHR to minimize cavitation. What is shutoff pressure? The maximum pressure acquired by a pump when the floor at the outlet is blocked. When floor is stopped, the pressure developed by the pump rises to its maximum value. This is termed as shutoff pressure. Mark shutoff pressure in the graph. On a pump curve with head on the y axis and flow rate on the x axis, the shutoff pressure point would be on the y axis where the x axis value is zero, indicating zero flow rates that is with the maximum head. What are different safety valve sizing scenarios? Different safety valve sizing scenarios include 1. General cases, it includes fire case, thermal expansion, and overfilling. 2. Control valve related, it includes cases such as a blocked outlet, control valve failure, abnormal flow through the valve, and failure of automatic control. 3. Heater and cooler related, it includes exchanger tube rupture, cold side blocked, and fan failure. And 4. Reaction or mixing, it includes chemical reaction, accidental mixing, and pressure surge or internal explosion. List of documents required for PNID making. PNID preparation is initiated during feed and is further updated during detail engineering. Documents required include process design bases, heat and material balance, process flow diagrams, process data sheets, piping material specification, process description, and process simulation report. What is meant by the NPSH of a pump? In pumps, net positive suction head or NPSH is a measure of how close the given fluid is to flashing and in turn, cavitation, NPSH of the pump or NPSHR is the minimum pressure at the pump suction to keep the pump from cavitating. It is an intrinsic property and is determined by the pump vendor experimentally. What is the output of a pump hydraulic study? The outputs obtained from a pump hydraulic study are hydraulic power, shaft power, motor power, and NPSHA. Explain pressure drop criteria for line sizing. Several criteria have been standardized by carrying out extensive research and can be used to successfully size lines. 
The pressure drop criteria for line sizing are as follows. For subcooled liquid is 0.25 bars per 100 meters, for boiling liquids 0.05 bars per 100 meters, and for PSV inlet line it is less than 3% of set pressure. Describe the gas sweetening process. Gas sweetening is a process in which hydrogen sulfide, carbon dioxide, and other mercaptans are removed from natural gas making it more suitable for transport and sale. These impurities are highly corrosive and if not removed, will damage pipelines and are harmful to humans as well. A typical gas sweetening process would involve the use of a sweetening solvent made to come in contact with the sour gas in a tray or packed column. The solvent absorbs hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide on its way down from the top of the column since it comes in intimate contact with the sour gas moving upwards from the bottom of the column. The gas becomes free from impurities while the rich solvent at the bottom can be regenerated to be used again. Explain the effect of higher velocities in the pipeline. At higher fluid velocities, the pipeline would be susceptible to noise, flow-induced vibrations, pressure surges, and material degradation like erosion, corrosion, and cavitation. Most of these could result in damage to or failure of the piping system. What is the formula for erosional velocity? Systems accommodating two-phase flow should be sized primarily based on the flow velocity. If the flow velocity is too high, loss of wall thickness can occur through a process of erosion. The velocity at which erosion may occur can be determined by the formula. Fluid erosion velocity is equal to the ratio of empirical constant to the root of gas liquid mixture density at flowing pressure and temperature. For a solid free continuous service, AC value of 100 can be used in the equation, whereas for intermittent services, AC value of 125 is to be used. Flow velocity in the pipeline should be maintained below the erosion velocity value. What are pump curves? A pump curve is a graphical representation with flow rate on the x-axis and head on the y-axis obtained from the pump's performance based on the testing conducted by the vendor. The pump curves vary from pump to pump. How can one reduce pressure drop across a control valve? Three interdependent parameters work in tandem whenever there is a flow across a system, viz. flow rate, pressure drop, and flow area. To reduce pressure drop, the flow rate can be decreased or the flow area can be increased. 